Hey guys, if you own a retail store, a salon, or a studio, or an auto shop where you have walk-in traffic, then you want to be alerted when customers come through the door. And I suggest getting a motion sensor and a special receiver from Safeguard Supply. Now these devices will sound off and alert you when somebody's on the premise. So today I'm going to show you how to use the ERA PIR motion sensor to pair with the ERA DCRX receiver and the ERA RXPG receiver and I'll show you how they all work in tandem together plus all the cool features that they have. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the ERA PIR motion sensor for the doorway. It can be mounted horizontally or vertically along the door frame. Now to the ERA DCRX receiver with three buttons on the side, mode, zone, and volume. And each zone can be programmed for different transmitters and different parts of the property. This is the ERA RXPG receiver that just plugs into the wall. It has three trigger options on the side and has 12 different melodies with a flashing light. All safeguard supply transmitters can send a signal up to 4,000 feet away, which is great for large properties. So let's pair them up. It's really simple. Just start by taking the back cover off the transmitter. You're going to need a small Phillips screwdriver and a 9 volt battery. Once the battery is in, it's ready to pair. There's the test button. Next, plug in the receiver and press and hold the mode button. You'll hear a short tone telling you that it's ready to pair. Wave your hand across the sensor and you'll hear a short tone telling you that it's paired. Then press the mode key again and it will be locked in. It's really sensitive. To adjust the volume, press and hold the volume button and it will be at its highest volume. Then press the volume again to turn it down. Depending on how loud your shop is, you may need to set it at maximum level. Now we're going to change the melodies. Press and hold the zone button and cycle through the zones to the one you want. So zone 1 will be flashing and now you want to press the volume button to cycle through the 12 melodies. Each zone can have different melodies for each transmitter. Once you choose your melody, press the zone button again to lock it in. This one's pretty simple. Just press and hold the mode button in order to pair. You're going to hear a short sound and then wave your hand in front of the sensor and you'll hear another short sound. Then you can press the mode button again to lock it in. Now it's paired. To adjust the volume, just keep pressing the volume button until you get the right level. On the side of the receiver, you'll see three options, both a flashing light and sound, or just sound, or just a flashing light if you need it quiet. To get the melody that you want, press and hold the mode button and you'll hear a short tone. Then press the volume button to cycle through the 12 melodies. Once you pick your sound, press the mode button again to lock it in. Sounds like a lot of steps, but you'll see that it's really simple to set up. Now we're ready to install. You have two options. You can mount it on the top of the door frame or mount it on the side of the door frame. I'm choosing to mount it on the side. All you have to do is measure it up and screw in the bracket and attach the sensor. It's that easy. So there you have it. Now you know how to use both receivers to pair with the motion sensor. 
Like I said, you can program multiple safeguard supply transmitters to one receiver. They have different zones and different melodies, and their signal goes through walls, which is pretty impressive. It's a must-have for your establishment, and you'll be alerted when your customers come through the door or on your property. Safeguard Supply always stands by their products, and they guarantee their work. So anyway, I hope this helps give you a better look at the Safeguard Supply transmitters and receivers. Oh, sounds like somebody's at the door. Take care.